Warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, your sexy lifestyle podcast coming in your ears via podcast land, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, or even on the YouTubes. I am your host, my name is Jay. And I'm the sexy V. The sexy V with her titties. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. Jiggle, yeah, right like that. Ooh. Yeah, you like that? Oh, fuck. The titties are so nice. Yeah. Wiggling them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you are. And look at those nipples are hard. Yep, they're fired up. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm, I can't wait to fuck you in a little bit. I know. Right after this podcast, we got a little shoot to do, and then I'm going to fuck your brains out. Yeah, we do have uh, some photo shoots to do this evening. Yeah, because next week is Thanksgiving, it so we sure got to do our is. Thanksgiving shoot. Yes. Got gotcha, you a sexy little... Little outfit to wear with feathers. Yeah. yeah so like, we'll <laughs> it's kind of hard to find something to like be on theme with Thanksgiving. You know, you don't get like turkey lingerie. Yeah, I, I, I look I look for sexy turkey. I look for sexy pilgrim. <laughs> it's sexy and turkey. it is not a thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Um Yeah. Uh so yeah, we did find something kind of, even find, trying to find like brown lingerie is yeah. kind of difficult. Something that's like sexy. Yeah, kind of like fall. Right. I mean, they do have some brown items out there, but really not my style. So, yeah, so. yeah we'll see. It should be fun. Yeah, because uh, last year we did a, a fun photo shoot in the kitchen with you wearing an apron and shit like that. Kind of yeah, like I don't the old think 50s we'll, and 60s. Yeah, we won't be able to top that one, though. We got yeah. uh, photos deleted off only fans for that <laughs> for putting a turkey baster in your vagina who knew your fun gina it's not allowed nope nope they are the no fun zone people <laughs> but where else can you find bang bang pineapple gang so you can also check us out on fullswapradio.com which is a radio station that plays lifestyle friendly podcasts um, all day long uh, you can check ours out monday 7 30 a.m and saturday 10 a.m central time we are on Instagram and TikTok, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0, uh, Twitter or X, BB Pineapple G. And on Instagram, we do have a link tree that has everything we talk about on there. Yeah, everything we've talked about on the podcast yes. previously. Yes. Or what we're talking about today. Yes. You'll find links to it right there. Yep, go check it out. There is a link there for your Swinger Society uh, Discord. Yes, the Discord. Climbing to 32,000 swingers on there. So if you're looking to talk with like-minded people or just get a grasp of what the lifestyle is like, Go on to the Swinger Society Discord using that link on Instagram. Yep. And then uh, I actually got a lot of compliments on my T-shirt that I had, um, Come Slut T-shirt that you yep. got me from Fundies. Um, a lot of people asked where they could get one, so go check out Fundies Fetish Attire on Etsy. And, uh, yeah, they have all kinds of uh, sexy T-shirts, crop tops, panties, whatever you want to get. Yeah, and it's all you can have a customizable. Yep. So if you want you want dirty cum slut, you could get dirty you cum slut put dirty on there. You could get dirty cum slut on there, If you want to yeah. get the sexy V put across your titties, you can go get city, <laughs> the sexy V. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Um, and then also uh, go check out funplaystays.com. That is the link to the Rockford Red Room, the Airbnb that we stayed at. Um, we had a lot of fun there. Took a lot of photos there. There's well, a lot of yeah, content definitely. on my OnlyFans um, from that weekend. And I have gotten questions. It is Rockford, Illinois. Oh, apologies. Yes, I know there's a Rockford, yeah, cause, Michigan. Because I got somebody wrote us in. It's like, oh, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not finding this in Rockford, Michigan, yeah, I'm like because it's not Michigan, it's Illinois. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, Rockford, <laughs> Illinois. So, um, it is right by the Rockford Airport, so you could always uh, fly in. Um, I don't know how, what kind of flights yep. that fly in there all the time, but yeah, there's the airport right there. So if you are um, out of state and want to come check it out, yeah, I think I think Orlando, Las Vegas, uh, I want to say the Carolinas, Arizona, 
They yeah. fly directly into Rockford. Okay. With the I think it's Spirit. Uh, Spirit I think Island? it's like for uh, Allegiant. Allegiant. That's yeah. What I think it is. it's yeah. Allegiant. Yeah. yeah. So I've never actually flown out of there before, but yeah, I, I flew down to Arizona back back and forth through Rockford. Oh, it's okay. You're right in and out of that fucking airport. It's well, nothing yeah. like going through O'Hare. Yeah, nothing like O'Hare. <laughs> I know sometimes I'd go up to Milwaukee, actually, and bypass O'Hare, you know, because it's kind of equidistant where we're at. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was a long time ago uh, when I hoard around. You know, you're being <laughs> when a, I flew around the country you, to hoard hey, around. Yeah, you get those <laughs> frequent fuck miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, so uh, we also have... Uh, a link out there for Cassidy.com. If you go to Cassidy, K-A-S-I-D-I-E.com, and you get a free 30 days by using code PineappleGangPod. And Cassidy.com is like a swinger uh, personals. Yeah. So you go up and you know, get your free 30 free days, page. set up set up a page, and um, meet fuck buddies in your, in your neck area. of the woods. Yeah. All right. And then last but not least, um, saving the best for last, my OnlyFans page. You definitely want to go check that out. It's the sexy V, a V-E-E at the end. And uh, you will get in the door for seven fifty for your first month. Um, after that, it is $15. And uh, even at $15, it's an amazing deal because you get access to everything. Everything. It's like over 30, I think you're at almost 3,400, 3,500. No, not quite. It's like 3,200. Well, anyway. You're, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's over, a lot. It's, it's over 3,000 over videos 3, and pictures and new stuff added daily. Oh, you know what? I apologize. You are correct. It is 3,588. See? I know. Yeah. I know you're only yeah, fans. Yeah, you do. Yeah. 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 I, uh, I am your your GM of your <laughs> OnlyFans page. <laughs> Uh, but no, there's a lot of content. You get access to it right away. There's no paywalls after you get in. Um, so yeah, go check it out. And um, yeah, send me a DM and tell me what you love to watch. Yeah, tell uh, me uh, how hard it got you. I love hearing that. Oh yeah, you got some uh, some threesome stuff out there. Some MFM. You got a little. Um, you fucked with another couple at this last hotel takeover that yep. video popped up there and some girl girl stuff some strap solo. on play. there's all kinds of stuff you you there's a video of you strapping me there is yeah, a so pegging you, video a pegging yeah video we need to do some more of that yeah I there is some, down for that. some mail by play on there i know a lot of people um actually dm us and tell us that they love watching the the by mail stuff and um it's awesome that you're open and comfortable with it because it is kind of it's not like shun, but it's just kind of like a taboo yeah. subject. Yeah, we which get people weird, but yeah, 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 we get people writing it all the time, being like, "Oh man, it's so cool hearing this on the on your podcast because other people won't talk about this kind right. of stuff." Right, makes them feel a little more comfortable to be open about their, you know, exploration or whatever they want to do. Yeah, which is awesome. So love to hear that. But um, yeah, definitely go check out my OnlyFans. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, so uh, speaking of MFM threesomes. Yes. Uh, some recently popped up because uh, I follow the, the No Jumper. We both follow No Jumper. Yes. And that is a, another podcast. And the guy that runs that, Adam22, I think his name is. Correct. He has another podcast with his wife called... Uh, Plug Talk. Plug Talk. Correct. Now, I followed... Um, her, Lena, Lena the Plug, um, she's a porn star, and I followed her for quite a while. And, you know, then she got married, and her man has no jumper. And then they started this plug talk on OnlyFans, which is um, basically they interview porn stars, female porn stars, and then they have a threesome with them afterwards. I was like, well, that's kind of cool concept, you know, yeah, right? of an interview. And I'm then, like, when, when can we move this into our podcast? <laughs> right? So they definitely... Um, you know, it was a new thing. I've never seen it done before. Maybe other people have done it, but maybe not as at that level of where they're at. Um, so yeah, so we've kind of followed along and watched their career, it, I yeah. guess, you know, whatever their shenanigans that they get into because they do fuck a lot of other people and they are married and a lot of people like their comment sections are just off the wall. <laughs> like it's crazy. Yeah, it's like, it's like, what, why the fuck you borrow on your wife? out? And especially because it was always them fucking another girl until mm -hmm. recently 
she um, actually played with another male solo. Um, and a lot of people were giving him shit like, oh, you're renting out your wife and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, wow. Like, yeah. obviously, they're dealing with a whole different fan base that's not lifestyle related. So yeah. they don't get that. But um, yeah, because uh, no jumper, they pretty much are like uh, like a TMZ, I would think. No, it's more like music based. Yeah, but yeah. they have a, yeah, a lot of the, the gossip. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. not so much like A-list stuff. I don't know. But anyway, so um, the point of bringing them up is they have a new show out where they are interviewing 10 men. So that way they can have their first um, male, male, female threesome. Yeah. And <laughs> it's we watched the first episode a few days ago and it's pretty fucking interesting. Oh, I, I mean... I can kind of see where it's like kind of scripted. I'm guessing it's scripted. Yeah, I'm sure that there are like, okay, this is where we want to go with it. Like yeah. play up this character or whatever. Um, and I get that, you know, that it is a, a show. It, it is on YouTube of yeah, all places. Of all places on YouTube. Really I wondering figured, how that worked. I would have figured they would have threw it on like OnlyFans maybe. Well, yeah, I guess maybe they're just trying to get everybody to watch it and then filter all the people that, you know, are really interested in, in yeah. uh, into their only fan. I mean, I guess it works. Everyone's on, you know, YouTube. But anyway, so, um, yeah, they introduced the 10 guys <laughs> that are basically um, there to get picked to fuck them. Yeah, and like, it's so funny. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, man, I'm like, where were these game shows when I was single? Right. <laughs> I would have been like. Fuck yeah. I'm yeah, we hadn't met yet, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it, it's funny, uh, the first episode, because there's only one episode out right now. Right, it just started. And, uh, you know, basically they're introducing the guys that are on the show. Yes. And the first guy that comes in, I'm like, wait a minute, I fucking know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, you sucked his sucker at Exotica. <laughs> yes, I sure did. Yep. <laughs> yep, it was uh what was it? Uh John Le- no. John Legendary. John Legendary. Yes. Yeah, we, I, Don't get him confused with John Legend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was John Legendary. Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, "Whoa, they got an actual porn star that's on." It. But it seemed like most of the guys on there were actual porn Yeah, stars. I think most of them are in the, you know, adult industry whether it's just their you know, OnlyFans page or whether they're actual legit porn stars. Now, I know she did porn before all the, you know, OnlyFans and stuff yeah. was really a thing. So, um. yeah, so, so, <laughs> all right. So, like, uh, while they're introducing, you know, they're, they're coming up the stairs and, you know, talking to these guys or yes. whatever. And the first, inter- yeah, like the first impression, they're, they're getting the first and, impression of these guys. And, and, all right. The first one, you know, the one of the first guys. She comes up and she's like, "Oh, he smells really good. You know, want to give him a smell." So Adam walks up to the guy and goes to smell him, but goes and he sniffs his he ass. Sniffs his ass. I'm like, "What the <laughs> fuck are you smelling this dude's ass?" <laughs> well, I guess if you are bringing in another guy, you're allowing another man to get naked with you and your wife. You want to make sure that he has good hygiene. So. Maybe he's just taking a whiff to see, you know, if he washes his ass that day. <laughs> Gotta wash I guess that. it's a legitimate concern if, you know, you're, you're going to be in that area. Now, I don't believe Adam is into the male-male play at all. So I don't think he would be... I, I, I don't know. I, maybe. The dude comes off like he could be into that. I don't know. I don't see him really doing anything more than like a high five during the Eiffel Tower or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think they even brought that <laughs> you up. Know, yeah, they did. Because <laughs> the French guy. The French yeah. guy, he's, he's like, you want to show her the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, he's like, I'll show her the Eiffel Tower in LA. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty entertaining. Um, obviously, it's just for entertainment, but it's yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, so we're going to start getting, if you guys are interested in fucking the sexy V and being on our <laughs> Fuck the V episode. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about this beforehand. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought we did. I thought we did. I thought we did. So we're going to set it up. So write to us at bbpineappleg at yahoo.com. <laughs> no, we'll is- even write in, so I'm no. fine. All right. Well, you say that, <laughs> but our email is going to be flooded. Yeah. So uh, it, it's an interesting concept to be like, oh yeah, well, I'm going to have a game show to fuck my my old lady. To well, yeah, to find another guy to come in and bang my own lady, old yeah. lady. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's just um, 
it's cool to see that it's more open and, you know, the whole ethical non non I Ma- mahogany? mahogany mahogany yeah it's i was going to say <laughs> mahogany <laughs> the non it's been non, a long day non menagerie <laughs> oh the non monogamous <laughs> um but no it's cool to see the non monogamous lifestyle yeah being, being out there more out there a little more um whether it's just even in a silly you know show like this yeah exactly yeah there was another uh uh, YouTube channel I watch, uh, I catch the videos every once in a while at, at, where it deals with, you know, kind of weird, different relationships. Yeah. And like this one that popped up today uh, was about uh, a, a guy, you know, he's, his girlfriend is a trans girl mm-hmm. and, you know, beautiful, she, absolutely gorgeous. And people in, in the chat, on Instagram, we're just roasting these this couple. It's oh, like, geez. like, geez, you know, you know, people are trying to bring this stuff out into the limelight, right? And you know, the reason why they don't bring it out to the limelight because is because people... of assholes like that in the chat. Yeah, it's like so. It's nice to see that we're getting more stuff out there. Yeah, even though you go to the comments section and it's just like. <laughs> You know, the comments, uh, like, what the cuck? I saw that one. That was a funny one. You know, <laughs> yeah, just like all kinds of stuff from ignorant people to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Why mean, don't you just divorce her if you, you know, want Yeah, other that's guys. not a real husband or that's not a real wife. And you know, blending out your wife's vagina like that. Yeah. yeah we, we, we hear that. We don't hear it as much as other people do, but. Well, no, we're not. You know, I would say they're more like celebrity I am. type they're more on that level, you know. Yeah, but you know, even other podcasters, you know, I read their Instagrams and stuff like that, and people roast them. So you know, for us not being in the firing line <laughs> as much as others, yeah, that get, no, get roasted I like suppose. that. Uh, but uh, today's show, we are—I forgot to say that we are going to have our second interview today. So that yeah. will be coming up here in a little bit. Yep. But first, we're going to go into our DM slides. Of the week. You got your DM slide up? I sure do. Okay. Now, this one came from uh, Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. Um, now, if I read this and it sounds real blotchy, it's because it's not written very... <laughs> it's just all one big run-on sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fuck toy. I'm from Paris. Hope you are great. Are you um, going to show you that Ava Devil? <laughs> <laughs> I love the hello fuck toy. Hello fuck toy. Hope you are great first, uh, but I'm more here to degrade, object women like you, humiliate, use, and abuse every inch of them like they really love and deserve. Um, come now ramping on your knees for my throbbing dick. I, I'm not sure what that is, but maybe... Come now, get on your knees. Maybe it's something got lost in translation. Something's definitely lost in translation there. But um, yeah, I would definitely say that is not the best first approach. Yeah, when you lead off the sentence with fuck toy. Hello, fuck toy. And I will say that, you know, because I feel a lot of this stuff yes. out of all of your, your you know, the Instagrams and Twitters and Reddits and that. Yeah. It's like, I don't get where guys think they can come off and be like, hey, bitch. Hey, slut. Yeah, that's definitely something that's like earned, I think. It's, you know, like I obviously I don't mind you degrading me in in a way. But it's not like it's even I'm not really into that. But, you know, you call me a slut or, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But like when I say it, it, when I because I've never, you know, talked to you like. Good morning, fucking whore. <laughs> no. You know, it, it right. Usually, it, it, when I'm like, oh, you're such a dirty slut or whatever, you know, it's in a joking way. I'm, right. I'm never here to degrade you. Oh, no, no, absolutely. But even if, like, we are, you know, having sex or fucking, you know, call me a slut, that's fine. Like, yeah. that's, but that's earned, you know. We yeah. have that, obviously, relationship. But just someone off the bat like that. Now, I guess some people are really into that thing. You know, if they're into being degraded, it can be anybody. That's cool. Maybe they're into strangers degrading them. But I'm not. Right. So why would you lead the conversation like that? Yeah. Especially if you don't see anything on my page about what you're trying to do or be about. Yeah. And what I don't get, too, is that he he goes, I'm from Paris. (laughs) No. And obviously he can see that word. Not in Paris. Right. Like, 
I got somebody from, I think it was like England, wants to shoot OnlyFans with you. Oh, how's that going to work? Exactly. And I brought it up to him, like, you do know we're in the United States, right? And he's like, oh, well, I figured that, you know, since it'll be on your guys' page, you guys could fly me out. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You thought we would fly him out to yeah. fuck me? Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, whoa, dude. I, I didn't even waste my time with him. I just fucking, I, you know, deleted and blocked him and deleted him and shit like that. So it's like, Seriously, dude, why would you ever think that we're going to fly you out to fuck? And here's the thing. If I'm spending my money on flying somebody out, I am going to be the one to do the choosing and bringing up, hey, you're coming out here on my dime. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. why would it just be some random Joe Schmo from, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, for him, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, and, it's so messed up. And, you know, plus we've also had the ones that are, you know, of course they're like, I'm from England or I'm from Ireland or whatever, but I will be in Chicago. Oh right, yeah, I'm flying through on I'm a vacation. Through, uh, I got a layover. Do you mind fucking me? Yeah, we just had just one the other day. It was like <laughs> like that. It was like fucking hey. You can go meet in the parking garage at O'Hare. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Give him a blowy behind the car. Ooh, that sounds hot. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so uh, you want to move into my DM slide? Yes. All right, well, this is actually an email slide. Oh, okay. Fresh off the presses. All right. And I I know that, you know, he's totally joking in this email. Okay. What he's talking about, but there's something I want to talk about after that. Okay. All right, so he goes, uh, enjoyed the first interview format. Don't completely eliminate the V's sexy stories, though, because they're always exciting. Lastly, set up the MFM with me <laughs> and you and the V and the new microphones are on me. Oh, <laughs> LOL. Right, because you made a comment on the last episode. Yeah, that we need to. That, yeah, because you're. Com- yeah, we were talking we, about the microphones we, yeah. being shitty, and you're like, yeah. Uh, email us, yeah. yeah <laughs> and yeah. someone actually emailed us. Yeah, someone actually emailed us, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, well I know he's joking. I, 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 well, at least I hope it is because he put the LOL at the end of it. <laughs> he put the LOL at the end of it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, he's listening and yes, it is a joke. Maybe. <laughs> if not, write us and let us know. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So, I'm, I'm taking this as a joke, this one. Yes. But the amount of people that feel that if they buy you something, they're going to fuck you. Because we had an instance yes, where one of your fans for a long time yes, and the dude had an opportunity before to be here. He did. And he fucking flaked. He did. Well, he, you know, was like, oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he sent you out a couple lingerie gifts or whatever. Right. And then out of the blue, you know, not out of the blue, but, you know, Along the way, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, can we get back together or whatever? And, you know, I'm like, I don't know. You know, we don't give second chances. Yeah, it's just with that particular scenario, like it was just done. Yeah. So, okay, move on. And he, we told him that. But he kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And then uh, I don't know what happened. He was super butthurt one day or something. And then he made a comment about, oh, well, I bought you – something you know a few months ago and that was so we could actually get together like i owed him something yeah and i'm like oh no 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 no, no. wait exactly. a minute here dude like nobody forced you to purchase anything for me i appreciate everything everybody sent me yeah and with everything that you you get you send them like a video with you and items and right and whatnot and, and everybody has been Happy with that. Had no complaints. Nope. But for some reason, he felt, maybe because he was more local than these other people, that I actually owed him something now, like in person. Right. He had to come over and, you know, do whatever scenario he wanted to play out. It's like, no, it doesn't fucking work that way, dude. Yeah. And and I'm like, dude, you know, you had your chance. I'm like, you 
opted to, and this was, uh, we talked about him a long time ago on an episode yeah. where uh, he said he was on his way and then we were waiting around. Yeah, we were actually like waiting for him and then totally flaked. Yeah. And it's like, okay, dude, maybe possibly along the way we could have maybe have set something up. Possibly. But he was wanting it like every weekend. Yeah, no, it was just too too aggressive. Not my thing. Yeah. And just turned me off. And unfortunately, you know, I've I hardly block anyone. But I had to go and block him on everything because he was just being super aggressive with it. As you said, you blocked someone earlier. <laughs> well, well, yeah. But I'm funny. saying, I'm saying, I don't. But no, I know it, for in something like that, like a fan. Yeah. You know, because I've never had anybody yeah, he was be a, like that. But he was an established fan, right? And he, yeah, I, I don't know something. You know, there's other things that probably were going on in his life, and it just like contributed to the factor. But you know, I. Whether you send me something or other girls, other fans that you, you know, other people that you enjoy, if you want to buy them something off their wish list or purchase something, that's cool, but they don't owe you anything. You know, nobody's making you do those things. You're doing yeah. that because you want to be nice. You, um, you know, maybe know that you'll get a photo set or a video or whatever after the fact. And, and you know, that turns him them on. I get that. Some guys are into that thing. Yeah. And that's cool, but if automatically you assume that now I have to fuck you because you bought me some lingerie, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. No, no. Uh, so, you know, yeah, the guy in the email, maybe he was joking. <laughs> I don't know. But it was funny because I sent you the email. Yeah. I go, I go, babe, get those legs spread because we're getting new microphones. <laughs> and, and, and you're like, well, I don't even have pictures or anything. I'm like, I'm like. It's new equipment. What are you talking <laughs> it's about? New and, equipment. and you're and you're like, at this point, I will buy the fucking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't just whore me out for uh for a couple of mics. <laughs> <laughs> for anything. <laughs> oh, I need a, I need a lobster dinner. <laughs> and then you can fuck her. <laughs> All right. So uh those were our DM slides of the week. And now we are going to get into our second interview that we held at the JR's Halloween Hotel Takeover. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, for this interview, we actually talked about her and her husband on one of our other episodes. Yeah, it was that one of our very first episodes. In the very beginning of our uh, podcasting career, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, we met them at that horrible house party we've mentioned, and uh, we ended up hanging out afterwards and having a little bit of fun with them. So we've kept in contact throughout the couple of years, and they were at the Halloween takeover as well, and uh, she wanted to come and talk about um, all of her, uh, all the things that she's been doing lately. Yes, yes, she's been doing a lot of, uh, uh, was it sex toy bingo? Yep, the sex toy bingo, uh, which is um, something that she's been doing locally here um, in, the, in the bar scene, I guess, yep. locally. And uh, it's been going very well for her, and yeah, um, and she was branching it out to uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, possibly. So, uh, yep, branching it out up to Wisconsin. So it's definitely something that people seem to enjoy. They have a lot of fun, and it's something to do for a couple hours uh, during the the week. Yep. And I know it is kind of hard for us to get out during the week because you know kids yeah. and, and all that kind of stuff, school nights and whatever. But yep. Uh, so yeah, um, we definitely want to go. So hopefully soon we'll be able to to go because it sounds awesome. Yeah. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this interview with Shay, the SB Little Minx, right here on Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. All right. So we are back with another interview, our second interview. So we are yeah. we are good at doing interviews now, right? We're pros now. We're pros now. Yeah. <laughs> we got your second one. Yeah. Our last one. Yep. <laughs> So, All right, and guest, introduce yourself. My name is Shay. Shay. Hi, Hi, Shay. Hello. Thank you for joining us. You are very welcome. You guys are fun. Yeah. Well, well, you're fun. I mean, I mean, you guys, you, you and your husband were our first. We we were yeah our first couple. Yeah. Yep. Horrible house party night. <laughs> Definitely horrible. <laughs> not not horrible that we met you or horrible experiences with you. Horrible house party. Yes, right? yeah. The house party was absolutely horrible, but the, you know, the good thing that came out of it was, it was meeting you guys. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and, and we view it the same way too. Yeah, and, and we got a good story out of it. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. We had the failure there and we kind of know what to avoid now and yeah. what to I, stay away from. Yeah, I don't think any of us have put ourselves back into those types of scenarios or situations <laughs> nope. again. Oh, no, nope. never again. You know, you, Lesson learned. Lesson yep. learned. Yep, exactly. Lesson definitely learned. <laughs> You're so. going to have the good with the bad with anything. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, and, but this is the good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was the bad. Yep. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so, uh, so how have things been? Been good. Um, have had some roller coasters with job stuff, and not personally, and not this year, but the lifestyle stuff has been great. Yeah. Started doing a little um, side gig, kind of as a practical joke okay. last year. That kind of turned around and bit me in the ass of not being a practical joke and almost turning into a full time job. And now, now it's a thing. Now it's a thing. And what is it? So I host Naughty Bingo. Naughty, Naughty Bingo. Bingo. Naughty. Naughty. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. So I am the host piece of things. Okay. And that's that's where my safe level is, is I don't have any part of the the prize packages are all naughty naughty toys. Okay. For people uh, to enjoy. How fun. There's a separate business called Simple Pleasures with Katie Carton is the owner. Okay. And she provides all the prize packages for the locations. Wow. And Comes to all of the shows with 22 suitcases and thousands of dollars worth of pleasure for wow. everybody. Wow. Um, so not only can you win stuff, you could also buy stuff. From exactly. That too. So if, okay. you, if you aren't fortunate enough to win, mm -hmm. there's the option. There's also the option just to come and shop if you don't want to play the bingo or stay around. You know that okay. she's going to be there. Yep. She also offers completely different products other than sexual aids or adult toys. Okay. Um, she's got. Um, hemp products she does also have dispensary products and everything in that there so kind of she's kind of a one-stop shop of her own okay. mixing i'm the laughs sass and entertainment so okay <laughs> i i host everything in street legal lingerie okay uh that's where my naughtiness comes in on it gotcha street and legal so no nips or no nips no holes of any sort showing. Uh, um, right. And do you have to cover the whole butt or is it just like a thong? I only legally have to cover the thong. Okay. But you probably cover I, up a little more. I pretty much do cover up a little bit more. Yeah. I'm a bigger girl. So I'm I'm not as You gotta show confident. off that ass. What are you talking about? Whatever. Yeah, you got yeah. a sweet ass and you need to be a little more confident. <laughs> I, <laughs> I get it though. <laughs> the funny thing was is that like I've never been confident on my ass at all. And then we came home from Naughty Bingo one night. And I was wearing this outfit that I really, really loved. Mm -hmm. And I just felt super sassy. And tossed the camera to my husband. I said, take some pictures of my ass. Because I don't have any of them. And we don't have them in the, our albums and everything yeah. like that online. So he took some pictures. And then I looked at him and I was like, I have a really nice ass. Like, that's my <laughs> ass? And he was just like, do you, do you, do, do you, you not know I'm that? Do you not know? <laughs> right. And I was just like, no, like, I legit have a good ass. Um, and now that I look back on it, I grew up on a dairy farm. I basically started doing squats when I was about six. Oh. So, gotcha. So, like, that's not good. <laughs> it is there. <laughs> that's, that's staying. Um, that shelf is going to be there for a while. Well, that's, so that's um, I've gotten a little bit more confident with it. I'm not to the point where I will just wear a thong yet, though. Okay. Um, and out of respect for still being in the bars and restaurants that are hosting me, Absolutely. I'd there's, be more comfortable, too, being covered up a little more. Yeah, there's, I mean, people are eating and drinking mm -hmm. and everything. I get the sexy pieces of things. I can be sex sexy without showing everything, too. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. Um, I, I tend to ride a little bit more on the cautious side. I tend to go more adventurous with the cleavage. The boobs, yeah. The boobs. Yeah. That's well, a little more acceptable. If you got acceptable. it, flaunt it, right? Yeah. And, and just like I have the ass, I've got, you got the, the boobs. boobs. Yeah. Yep. So those... Um, I've those, seen them firsthand. Yep. <laughs> Played with them, yeah. Played with them. <laughs> they have spiderweb nipple rings in. Awesome. Oh, um, fun. For Halloween. Awesome. So, so yeah. But um, we just have fun with it. And I honestly didn't think that it would take off. Okay. I thought it would be like a once, maybe twice type of gotcha. thing. Gotcha. And now I am filling bars. Wow. Um, 
the local bars in the areas that have brought me in have added between eighteen and twenty three hundred dollars on average wow. per night for the three hours that I'm there. Wow. So they're um, probably calling you, hey, you want to do bingo this week? <laughs> I am booked out through twenty twenty four for Holy two shit. locations for all of next year. Um, wow, congrats. I'm adding yeah, awesome. some dates in. I've added November 8th, I'm at a new new bar in Cherry Valley. Okay. Um, I was going to ask if it's the same bar every time nope. or you have um, a few on rotation. Right, right now, now, I currently have four okay. that are rotating me through. Cool. Um, and so two of them have booked me for one time, mm-hmm. once a month, every month for all of next year. Wow. We plan it out so that geographically, we're not hitting the exact same areas too close together. because. Yeah. It's not going to be fair to their bar markets either, and that you, trying you're trying to get different audiences and everything. In that yeah. End. So we're trying to kind of spread the wealth between the local bars and businesses. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and then the one that is on November 8th in Cherry Valley, he reached out to me because he's like, I see this like splattered all over Facebook and that now. <laughs> wow. And what the hell is this? And so I explained it to him. He's just like can you come down and talk to me and like see the bar, see if it would work for what you're doing? Wow. So I went down and met with him um, and we added that. That's baseball tap. Okay. Um, it's a really cute little small sports bar. Okay. I mean, typical, typical sports, bar. typical sports bar. Mm-hmm. Looks like it should be in Wisconsin. Yeah. Got a very Wisconsin esque feel to it, Nice. <laughs> but it's a Cubs bar. Um, All right. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's Illinois stuff. Yeah. Go Cubs. Yeah. Cubs, Cubs. <laughs> um, so yeah, but um, we're excited about that. We just started promoting there. That's so awesome that you have bars like reaching out to you at this yeah. point. Yeah. It's, um, I'm excited to also venture next week north mm-hmm. to I'm a Wisconsin girl. Okay. Going back to the Great White North. Okay. Um, up to Cottage Grove, another lifestyle couple. One of them owns bar. Oh, okay. And That's perfect. Um, they've been longtime friends of ours and everything. So I said, hey, I'm seeing huge revenues for the bars that I'm bringing this in mm-hmm. to. And would it be something that you want to add? Yeah. And he was just like, ah, da, 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 da. and he was just like, we can try it. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, let's just try it. See if it works. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Right. No. And everything, you know. But we also have pockets of the lifestyle people that we know in the different areas and everything that are just like, oh my God, can you come do it to art? And, you know, can do they it want somewhere to experience. In yeah. yeah. And everything. So, like, literally, as soon as I booked the date with him, I, I started spreading word out uh, to my friends. Both vanilla and lifestyle. Yeah. I was just like, hey, we're going to be back in the area. You guys have been wondering about the bingo that I'm hosting. Come on out. We've yeah, got it. come check so it out. We've already got reservations to fill almost half the bar now. Wow. That's awesome. Um, so you, you need to branch out and start you know, hiring other people to do shows for you. That's, <laughs> that's my fear. Um, because uh. I, have, I have a number of people that are just like, well, I can do what you do. Oh, uh. And I also don't want to be replaced. I have, of course not. I have fun doing it's, this. Yeah. It's um, what you've been doing. It's your yeah. thing. And I'm very conscious of it. I want it to be an enjoyable experience. Yeah. yeah. I don't drink when I am doing this. Mm-hmm. I'm very much about making it. It's a job. It's a job. Yeah. Um, I want to make it fun for everybody who is there. Right. And partaking because... They're coming out on a weeknight right. because the vast majority of the bars book me for weeknights to get revenue through the door during the week. Yep. So they're giving up their time either at home with their kids or yep. that they're just using for stress, de-stressing and decompressing in that themselves yeah. for that getaway. So I want to give them that getaway. You know, yeah. if it is laughing at me and my funny antics and jokes <laughs> or stupid little stories or getting to make fun of me for making a mistake on the bingo cards, you know, we've... We have found a way to have a game where you're not looking for the the numbers to go in a row. You're looking for a vagina. Nice. So, so you make it fun. We have vagina bingo. That's vagina awesome. Vagina bingo. Vagina bingo. All right. Cool. So for the podcast listeners out there, what's a vagina bingo? So a vagina bingo is the free spot in the middle uh-huh. is the G spot. Uh-huh. Okay. So it is the in the end line all the way straight down with the free spot. But then on either side of the free spot 
in that I and G category, it's the ones directly to the sides of okay. the three spot. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when you go down, you go around. Oh, the okay, around. gotcha. So you've got uh, like the little. That's cool. Yep. The vagina. The I bet, vagina, I bet yeah. you don't get that at the you know local two fifty one or whatever. No, your regular bingo at the. <laughs> no, it has required me. To, it has required me to draw some diagrams. How funny. <laughs> well, like, well, a that? lot of the guys don't know what the G spot is. That's anyway. true. <laughs> but it's labeled free in the yeah. middle of the car. Still, guys need more than that. <laughs> this is true. We have been less successful with um, coming up with a way to do like cock and balls because that like is if you do it got a little the, area. Yeah, yeah. You got it. That's going to be a long game. It's, yeah, and it's going to yeah. And it's a short cock because you're. <laughs> I was going to say it's going to be like a <laughs> little stubby it. cock. So, yeah. so do you guys do the big O? Where we it's do, the big O? We yep. do the big O. Oh, okay. Yeah. We do um, X. Okay. Does everybody like yep. sex? Yep. Not necessarily with the X, but right. Yep. Yeah. Um, we do a standard bingo game, four corners, and then the the ultimate prize packages. Typically are worth between two hundred and two hundred and fifty dollars, wow. and that's for the that's for the coverall mm-hmm. game, and that very, at the very very end. Okay. Now coming up, at the end of November, I'm doing a fundraiser at Onyx Bar and Grill here in McChesney Park. Okay. We unfortunately lost a dear friend um, that was staff member there um, due oh. to an overdose in that over the summer, and oh, no. he has three young Sorry children. Sorry to hear that. Oh, that's too bad. So we that's are so fundraising sad. for education needs for the kids. There's yeah. three of them under 11. Wow. And uh, the Red Room of Rockford Airbnb mm-hmm. has yep. donated a weekend stay for the grand prize of that. That's going to oh, be a special cool. card. That's awesome. Yeah, we, we recently stayed there, and it was it was amazing We had stay. a yeah. great time there. It was there. a great yeah. time there. So I'm really excited about that one and that too. We're running a completely separate. I'm donating all of my host fee for the evening and then a portion of the card sales that go. Um, we've got a bunch of donated prizes that are going to be coming in um, as well as basket raffle, 50-50 raffle, and silent auction items. Oh, okay. So that's November 30th. It's also a Thursday. Mm-hmm. The fun thing about when I do Naughty Bingo is I'm not a night owl at all. Yeah. So we're done by 10. Gotcha. <laughs> nice. It's not um, an all-night thing. It's then. not an all-night thing. So if you do have to get up and go to work and not in the morning, yeah. you're going to be you, able to. Right. It's not um, a super But also night. if you want to kick off your... <laughs> it's his bar that we're hosting at next oh, week. Oh, okay. Oh, um, cool. Just had some people walk in, so... <laughs> so, um, but also if you do want to stay out and drink later, you're able to you stay can. out and kick off your weekend earlier. Right. Nice. So, awesome. so like, I think there's an 069, right? 069. So, so, so 069, the popular call of the yes, night where you're like, oh, 069. So, <laughs> we, have, we have come up with, so there's also some very fun ones. So, like, B4 yep. and after. Before and after, yep. Patrick, my husband, came up with this one. B8. Every woman likes to be eight. Yes, that oh, is true. Yep, yep. That one has been super popular lately. <laughs> yep. um, we've got the O69. Um, G Fitty. G Fitty. G Fitty. Yep. Nice. Has turned into the G spot. Uh. <laughs> um, People, well, once people a, once again, me. people uh, guys won't find it on a card even saying G Fitty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know how that one came. What we found funny was I started saying G Fitty. Just uh, making yeah. fun of it and everything. And then we started playing bingo f- with different people at different bars and everything. And all these other people calling bingo have picked up on me doing the G-Fitty at their bars. Oh. So they've stolen it. So no. now, we have a, now I, when they call it, I'm just like, you stole that from me. Isn't that's that the, be- that's that, the best form of flattery? Though, I'm like, that, that's my fitty. <laughs> <laughs> it came from me, bitches. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> so how much um, does bingo cost then? Is it like per card or how does that work? So the, I arrange it with the bars that the first card, which includes all of the cards that you need to play for all of the games for the night, okay. is included free with your purchase of food and drink. So oh, okay. you're going to be supporting the bar that you're at. Gotcha. In at least one way, form, so shape, or form. So you go there for dinner or whatever, yep. and then you get to play bingo and then And then have you fun. can buy additional cards to increase your odds. Okay. Um, they're $5 a card. Okay. Brings it Breaks it down to $1 per card for each of the additional games for the evening. Mm-hmm. I have had grandmothers hand me $50 bills, and I would be like, how many cards would you like 
did I not give you a fifty dollar? Right, oh, I want fifty dude. of them. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Do they bust out all their little troll dolls and you know, <laughs> stampers? And- so the, the funny thing is, is that I bring daubers with me for people to use because people if don't want to use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, a dauber in their purse. In your purse, right? <laughs> and um, so it's funny because <laughs> there is a set of ladies that come and they're just like, "Yours are not glittery." <laughs> oh shit! I'm like. I, I, excuse me? I did not buy I didn't know there was glittery daubers. <laughs> oh, yeah. there are. Wow. And there are ones in shapes. And oh. I I just got Betty Boop ones because they have a woman with big boobs on them. I was going to say, can, you, it would work for can you get like Rango. a penis one or just straight up boobs? Well, or? well, the daubers are shaped like penises to begin with. The dauber itself, <laughs> yeah. but I mean itself. like a little stamp. I've not seen that. That'd be kind of cool. But here is a tip for your listeners. Because if you just get the standard round shaped dauber, mm-hmm. you can very creatively draw a penis on yourself. Oh, with a little dauber. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Do not do that. No, it doesn't. That come ink off. doesn't come off. Oh, yeah. So you got <laughs> a dick you on the your hand way? the whole time. I did not learn the hard way, but the gentleman who let his group of friends do it to his oh. forehead. Oh, did he have a dick on his forehead? <laughs> he had a dick on his forehead. What, what a dickhead! <laughs> and he messaged me the next day. He's like. This shit does not come on. Oh, no. And I was sucks. just like, oh, no. Get some foundation. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was hosting a different place months later, and someone started doing it as a joke to someone on their arm, and I, I stopped the game. I'm like, sir, go wash your arm right now. <laughs> it that will, will not, not come, come off. off. Do not let it dry. And he was like, are you kidding me? I said, I will wait until you come back. You're like. So, because he was a, like a businessman. Gotcha. I, <laughs> he, yeah, he shouldn't have that on there. So did the guy have the dick on his forehead for like a week? He did not know? let me know how long okay. it took to come off. Get it off. Um, his wife had drawn it on his head and he let her. <laughs> so I'm assuming oh. that that was be going like, to be, be like, dealt. put some foundation on me or <laughs> yeah, something. Exactly. Get some cover <laughs> I'm assuming that that had to be dealt with in their yeah. household. That's but, um, so the guy shows up at work and he's got like that orange ring around his neck. Yeah, didn't blend too good. <laughs> didn't, didn't blend the makeup in. That stuff that you just put in like you know, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something. So I, I've i learned little things in that along those lines and that along the way. So I see people and I'm like, no, please don't do that. <laughs> let's for your own good. Let, let's not do that. <laughs> All right. So, so I've been to a few bingo places and, you know, when somebody gets the actual bingo, how, how many times do you hear, oh. Oh, I, I <laughs> or, literally. Or that bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. People get particularly for the ultimate one, one, like, fucking whore. Jeez. Whoa, what? Geez. It's just a fucking game. Wow. <laughs> um, like, or if a man wins. Oh. What the fuck does he need a what vibrator he, for? What does he need? Yeah. I was just like, because well, I have, can put it in my ass, motherfucker. We, <laughs> have, we have gift packages specifically for men. Yeah, they, they, do. That, they get to choose from and everything. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so it's the best bingo that I had was two weeks ago. And the for her package mm-hmm. was won by a man. It was the last one to be selected. Okay. He's a very flamboyantly gay man. Okay. He was like, yes. <laughs> this He's like, is awesome. He's like, yes. That's awesome. And each bag contains a package of candy that's suck a bag of dicks. Nice. Which uh, I think it's yeah, hilarious. I've seen a bag of dicks. I saw someone I think, had a think bag of dicks. You guys had a bag of dicks so, last yep, night. That was yep. Suck they a bag, bag of dicks. Yep. And then um, the ultimate prize pack. The gay guy's partner won. Oh, oh sweet. And literally Please after, say it. Strap on. Oh. I mean, after bingo, <laughs> I saw them back there talking with Katie about products and everything. I said, listen, guys, you literally just won like $350 worth, worth of, of sex toys, toys and stuff. What the hell else are you looking back for? He's just like, we need some creative lube. Creative, creative loop. Loop. and I was like, creative loop, and they're just like, we wanted to try something different. We just have standard stuff. Oh, well, they, I wonder oh, if they got like, like the, the tingly stuff. stuff. I think they were and... talking about the tingly stuff, oh, okay. or yeah. perhaps maybe something that had some sort of like numbing sensation. Gotcha. Or I, uh, something I extra. Know. Some of the toys were probably like the pretty ease. aggressive <laughs> for for them. Yeah. But. Well, I know they have the the cum lube too. It's a big thing where it yeah, actually it looks, looks like cum. cum. It's, oh, really? It's white, yeah. and the consistency is more like cum. 
Um, I want to say Bad that. Dragon started that, Ye- but yeah. now now there's an actual brand out there now. Yeah, I don't know who started com- it, but I, I saw it from is. the Bad Dragon toys when we went to Exotica a few years ago. They had little gift bags, and I got a bag of dicks because they had little mini dicks in there. And then they had um, a couple things of the cum lube, and I was so excited about the cum lube because I wanted to try it. We had seen it on some uh, video we watched. Yeah. If you're listening on Full Swap Radio right now, it was probably a commercial that ran right before our show for the cum lube stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is a good <laughs> nice, time. Yeah. <laughs> Katie has, and I don't know the name of it. I, have, I would have to look. I've got some of them upstairs. She had these packages that are snap packs of lube. It's like a business card oh. for a guy to have in his wallet. Oh, and just in case, huh? Just in case. <laughs> I'm on my lunch. I need to stroke one off in the car. And it's like, and it's one of those like you have to like snap it hard. Oh wow! And oh. everything like that. But it's supposed to be the perfect amount of lube that you would need hmm. for hmm. whatever for you need fun. to do. For huh? fun, huh? Wow! Wow! Someone's Very cashing cool. in on those credit card <laughs> things of lube. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> opens up their their wallet and it's just fucking lube all over. <laughs> right, it breaks or something. It just all. <laughs> I know. That's what, that's what I was like too. I was just like, I would be so scared to carry this in my wallet. Yeah, right. have it break and then but you have lube everywhere. That was their that was their use case and that of it. So well, yeah. it's, it's like I carry a blue chew in my wallet just in case. Just in just case. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know when you're Non sponsored Blue Chew. Yeah. You gotta get that sponsor somewhere along the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I try to get Torrid to sponsor me um, because uh, I'm, oh, okay. a, I'm a bigger size girl and their lingerie has been the most successful for me to be comfortable in mm-hmm. for it to durably last through the events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the women that are in the audience a lot of times are bigger. And oh, and they're asking, they're where like, did you get it? And they that? really yeah. like it, too. Yeah. The first the first one we held, a woman got a little bit too intoxicated and tried to take my lingerie off of me oh. while I was hosting. <laughs> oh, well, boy. We, have, we have those events, <laughs> those nights, too, oh, wow. where I can imagine. my husband was just like, I need to go into bodyguard mode. Right. Well, I need to stop <laughs> this. There. Normally, I would encourage this, but since uh, you know, we're at a bar, yeah, we're at a right. bar and in public and you don't right. have anything else on, no. So when you do the bingos, um, do they close on the bar to the public or can random people just walk in? Nope. Okay. Random people walk in. Gotcha. Um, the best example of that is another local bar in that here. Country bar, mm-hmm. bumpkins all around. Yeah, they were like, "Why the fuck are there dildos everywhere?" Oh uh, yeah, I, I don't think that would fly too well with the country <laughs> crowd, right? It was it was a super popular night. Wow! At the end of the evening, everybody was talking with Katie and everything. And there was two guys that were waiting for me. Dr- I mean, farmered out John Deere whole <laughs> whole nine yards. Y'all got them cow dildos. <laughs> <laughs> he, ta- he, taps- <laughs> he taps my wedding rings and goes, first question, is that real or are those pest control? What? My wedding rings. <laughs> and I was like, uh, what? Uh, they're real. <laughs> I've never heard it look Put like that. that. Yeah, I have <laughs> but funny. Yeah, it's, it's real. People use them for pest control, yeah. And he said, he goes, okay, can I hire you for a private event? And it was him and this other guy. And I'm kind of stand, standing between them as like an Oreo cookie. Right. I take a step back. I was like, you two need to define what private event is. Right. Because, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Some things are not happening. Oh, wow. um, but they wanted to hire me to host Naughty Bingo mm-hmm. at their veterinarian's Christmas party. Oh, shit. <gasps> To How have funny. horse tail anal plugs on display. <laughs> I love it. Nice. And all of the animal the, features oh. for the people who have the animal fetishes oh, and everything. that is so funny. She just recently showed me a picture of this like butt plug company that puts like dead animal heads at the end like of the butt plugs. Taxidermy butt, butt plugs. Okay, so that crazy that, stuff. That's disturbing to me. Yeah. Yeah. So like you look weird. and you got a squirrel coming out your ass. Or you have like a possum <laughs> mouth open. And, <laughs> a lot of them. Oh yeah. I, I don't know that I would be game for that. In fact, I know I would not be game for that. No, definitely but not. But there's my another thing. one of my bingo regulars that he swears by the horsetail anal plug that he bought from Katie. He's just like. Girlfriend, I look so gorgeous with that. <laughs> um, yeah, awesome. I just recently bought her a, a unicorn butt plug tail, so it's like a horse tail. Yeah, she hasn't, yep. she hasn't worn that one, that one yet. So, 
But they, um, he's also got a bunny tail. One oh, that yeah. He had ordered and everything like that. But they were, I said, of course, I'm available. And Katie will sign up almost probably not charge you for, for things. And that the- if she could come and just harass people. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we both thought it was just the funniest thing to have. To be invited to. To be invited do. to. Yeah, for like, like a work party. Yeah. yeah. So I people at Vets. Do a lot of them have those weird animal fetishes? That's what I was <laughs> yeah, right? That's what I, I was mean, I mean, you look at animal asses all day. Do you just be like, mm, yeah, it'd be like a, you know, a guy, you know, you know, that looks at vaginas all day and like goes home. It's like, oh, yeah. God, honey, I don't want, I don't, I don't want, want vagina today. Vagina. <laughs> I, I was, I was driving home and I was like, I I'm so intrigued. I have no problem with doing this because yeah. it's going to be a fun night. Oh, that hell anyway. yeah, it will be. Yep. Um, but would you wait a minute? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you said animal I'm concerned fetishes? for my dog now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. Do what about vets? Do I, need, yeah. do I need to be concerned? I, I was just checking his glands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why my finger was in his ass, but I was just checking his glands. We just needed his. <laughs> oh. I need to take his temperature like me and you. Right. Yeah, right. Oh. You need to do it the original. And, and he like oh, slides right. off the glove. Like in, oh, uh, God. Oh. Uh, what is it? The hand that rocks the cradle. He slides the glove off before he goes in. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh. Or, or no. the you know the horse vets they go fucking you know oh, they go elbow deep shoulder, they go shoulder deep yeah that's crazy because growing up on a farm I wanted to be I growing up I wanted to be a vet okay and our veterinarian for the cattle was like you can never do it and I as a girl I was just like like why excuse me why and right he, and he goes you can never do it and he goes it's not because you're not smart enough. He, he goes. Your arms aren't long enough. He, he goes. Look at you. Physically, <laughs> I I stand five foot two. I'm taller than both of my parents. Oh, wow. wow. And he he goes. I'm six foot four. He goes. The contraction from a horse or larger cows would break your arm in half. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about Damn. that. Like once he's you're like, in he's there, like, yeah. If you're in there and you have a contraction. He goes. It could tear your your arm right out of its shoulder joint. Oh my god. And gosh. break your arm. He goes. You just. He was small animal practice. You'd be fine. Yeah, but like the bigger farm animals. And I was, I was a farm girl, so I wanted to be the cows and the horses. Yeah, like that. He was just like, I'm just telling you, he broke your dream. (laughs) He, yeah, shattered it. I mean, we've talked a lot of weird shit on this podcast, but I think this has gone into like the weirdest (laughs) area about (laughs) sticking arms in horses' asses. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Probably takes the cake there. So you know, but uh, we're we're about up on our time. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you coming in, and uh, we appreciate everything you guys do and everything like that for the podcast and stuff that you guys put out. Oh, oh, thank well, you, thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate you coming. Yeah, like, on and- like I said, we appreciate you breaking us in as a couple into the lifestyle. Yes. I'm sorry it was a somewhat traumatic evening. <laughs> well, I don't even you know look at it like that. You kind of forget the bad shit, you know. And then yeah. you just- we were trying to remember. Maybe you can tell us. Did did I actually say that we have to had to leave because something went wrong with the dog? You, well, I don't know. You you brought up the idea of leaving, yeah. and that led to everyone else being. <laughs> yeah, we, I, I couldn't Gotta remember go. if we used like our our secret oh, code. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, between the us of like, oh my god, Nicole just messaged us. The dog is really sick. I've got to get home. <laughs> I don't and, remember this. Yeah, but, but I do but, remember that. But <laughs> once we got yeah, up, you guys yeah, yeah, like, yeah, we're like, we're gonna follow. We're, we're, I'm like, to let's go, go with them. Check we're, dog. we're gone. We're gone. <laughs> we need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it was a crazy <laughs> experience. So, and then we ended up at, at home, somewhat naked on my living room floor. Ish. Yeah. 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 We did. Yeah. Oh, good. It's a lot of fun. And then, and then COVID hit, and then. Yeah, and yeah, everyone, everyone went into hit. hibernation. So yeah, yeah, yeah COVID hit, crazy. and then like the the very next week it hit. Yeah, it, and everything shut down the week it after. Was, we, yeah, pretty we much all met, like so, the week yeah. later. So, but it's awesome that you know we still see each other and yeah, you know, and we're at parties we're in the same and, area and parties yeah. and like support different things and everything. I right. know I've been trying to get you guys out to Naughty Bingo, but 
Yeah, no, it's, weekday it's comments, weekday, weekday weekday comments and everything like that. Kiddos, yeah. However, I, I do have one that go. was just booked for the, in the new year on a Saturday night here in Rockford. Oh, okay. ah, very cool. Yeah, that sounds like I fun. can't tell you where yet because the name hasn't been released. It's okay. going to be a new bar. Ah. Okay, cool. So do you have a website or you just go by Facebook? Right now, I just go by Facebook. Um, website is in the works. Okay. okay. Um, but if you search Facebook for SB Little Minx. Ah, SB and, and you Little do Minx. have an OnlyFans yourself, right? I do have an OnlyFans, and I also have Reddit. All right. Do you want okay. to give out your, your OnlyFans? OnlyFans is SB Little Minx. Okay. okay. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more traction and activity in that there. I've been kind of shy and bashful about myself with body issues, but trying to get there. Yeah. And then Reddit um, is where I have the largest following. Um, I did a feature or do a feature of boobs and booze. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. My husband's a huge distillery fan. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, so all of September was all Jack Daniels products because it was Jack's birthday month. Oh, so okay. Cool. On Reddit, I'm Anya1823. Um, A-N-Y-A 1823. Very cool. All right. So go out there and check check those out and yeah. like I said we appreciate you having us on, uh, having you on. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have you <laughs> thank anyway. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming. I, I've seen that literally, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, next time we have this set up again, love to have you back on. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. We should have you out at Naughty Bingo on 420. Well, 420. I think that's Exotica Weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, it oh, is. Yeah. It's Exotica Weekend. Okay, fine. I won't but yeah, <laughs> not Yeah, not on 420. But no, I, I do want to make it out to a, a bingo. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. come out and support you sometimes. So. Oh, 69. We'll have to figure out <laughs> we, that time. We, there's one bar that I need to make sure that you're at because there's a portion of the crowd that goes absolutely that you should be ready to record when they do <laughs> you will have the best sound bites ever nice. nice they all fake orgasms all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> sounds right. like a lot of fun all right thank you guys for having yeah, me yeah, thank, thank you thank you all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed that interview that we had with shay aka sb little minx you guys can go out and follow her on OnlyFans as well so go out there and give her some love. Uh, hopefully you guys didn't get too grossed out by uh, by fisting horses' asses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it definitely took a turn there. Yeah, it definitely uh, took a turn towards the end there. I yeah. was like, whoa, guys, we've talked about some weird shit. <laughs> but that, you know, it was a fun yeah. interview. So uh, Yeah, she's a lot of fun. I yeah, and that, that interview felt like it went, like, really quick. So, yeah. so yeah. we'll definitely have to, if we do... Interviews again, we'll definitely have to get her back on and Yeah, see how the sex toy bingo went. Yeah, exactly. So all right guys, so uh that is our show for today. Where else can you find us? So you can check us out on fullswapradio.com, which is a lifestyle friendly um podcast. So basically a radio station that plays podcasts all Every day, all day, and you can find ours Monday, 7.30 a.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0. We are on Twitter or X under BB Pineapple G. And don't worry if you forget all these things. We do have a link tree on Instagram, so just go to our Instagram, and all the links are there for you. Yeah, all the links will be there for, for fun days, for fun place days. Uh, Cassidy, and you can also find the link for the Sexy V and her OnlyFans. You know it. Go out there and jerk off and send her a message. Yeah. With cum shot so she can rate it. We haven't <laughs> had a cum shot rating yet. No, haven't had a cum shot rating yet. So if you want to be my first, uh, that would be pretty fucking hot. Yeah, we got so. we got to update your your menu yeah, to I have cum shot. Yeah, I think we need a new shot. menu. Yeah, it's been uh, a little while. So, um, but yeah, definitely come check me out. The sexy V V E E at the end, and uh, come say hi. Yeah, and check out the sexy Thanksgiving photos. Hopefully, they're sexy. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. Well, I Everything mean, I mean, we, is sexy. Come we, on. We, 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 we can put you in a, a brown paper sack. <laughs> you know, I would still come to it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the show. I am your host. My name is Jake. I'm sexy. And as always, stay kinky. Stay kinky. Get my life, guys. <laughs> <laughs>